So today I am going to show you my favorite shaving products of all time. And I'm gonna show you how I use them. I'm an average guy. First off, my all time favorite product, Philips Norelco's One Blade. The second pass, I'm gonna be using my favorite cartridge brand, the Gillette Labs Heated Razor. Final pass for those of you who are true shaving snobs <laughs> is my Leaf Twig single edge blade. So three passes today, three different razors or three different shaving options. And I'm gonna get into now my favorite soap and splash combo. Elysian, Elysian, anything from Elysian, but this is their green fig. Just a subtle, unique scent. Look at that. You have the accompanying aftershave splash. Last but certainly not least, Pacific Shaving Company's Natural Cork Handle. Look at that, guys. This is a one-of-a-kind or a limited-time basis product, guys. Get over to PacificShaving.com and get yours today. I'm an average guy. So now I'm going to jump into the shower. I'm going to steam up and clean up and get ready for the shave. I hope you'll enjoy this one today. Uh, guys, leave a comment below. Suggest some, you know, if you want to see some stuff, suggest what you'd like to see. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And if you are new to the channel, what's up? Now I'll jump in the shower and we'll get on with our day. All right, here we go. Let's do it. All right, so I've cleaned up and got a good steam going. The foundational pieces for a, a good shave, and let's get right into it. So this is one blade. Again, it has these <clears throat> settings on the trimmer. And I'm probably going to start, you can go as low as a 0.5 millimeter. But I'm going to go as low, I'm going to go up to a 2 on this dial. And I'm going to trim the beard off. Now, if you want to see how quick and easy one blade can get rid of a 50-day growth of beard. And like, shoo, I'll leave a link in the description box. You can check that video out. But for the sake of this, we're just going to trim it. And when I trim my beard, I'm going to trim with the grain of the beard. So I'm going to be trimming downward. All right, so here we go. So you can see how quick and easy it took that off. If I wanted, if I wanted to go with the goatee, I could do that. But let's keep going. I'll trim it down. So as you can see, there's a five o'clock shadow, a little longer, a little stubble. Now I could go down if I wanted to, but. So there you have it, first pass. I left a, a fair amount of stubble up here in the hard area. These are the stubborn areas where my hair grows pretty coarse, coarsely or is coarse. But for the sake of this video, you know, I did want to see or leave some hair for the second pass. So we'll jump right into the second pass, which 
we're going to be using this heated razor. And I'm going to use my Elysian Green Fig Soap. And my beautiful Pacific Shaving Natural Cork Brush to provide some protective and awesome scented lather for the next part of the shave. Now swirl that in, get that into the whiskers. It's a little dry, so I'll add, oh, I added a lot of water. I'll add some water and go back to the face and look at that lather, guys. Look at that lather. Rich, luxurious. Creamy, beautiful lather. Elysian. I'll leave a link in the description box for all these products. So you can support them. You can support the people that are making great stuff for the shaving community. All right, here we go. Heated razor, the flip of the switch. Once it goes solid, you have the basis of just a great luxurious shave, 120 degrees Fahrenheit. There is a lower uh, temperature setting. If you, I think if you press, no, that turns it off. If you press and hold, you'll get a, an amber hue. That's 110, but I'm gonna press and hold and go back to 120 degrees Fahrenheit and I'm gonna go the same way. I'm gonna go with the grain of the hair on my skin. Oh guys, that is just divine. Just a nice stroke of heat with each, with each pass. Just a, just a nice luxury feel guys. And again, I'll go with the grain. So hair grows down, go with it. A little bit more about the heated razor. It's similar to your Gillette razor, like the Fusion line, five blades of fun. You've got a loop strip up top, rubber guide at the bottom, the patented heated bar here. You have a pivoting head and flex disc technology, which allows for that side to side pivot. Just a beautifully crafted razor. And just nice, nice smooth feel. And if you're new to the channel, I like to talk technique a lot. And I'll tell you proper technique with any device you're using to shave is key. Some are more forgiving. So like cartridge razors tend to be more forgiving. However, you can really get into trouble with irritation, ingrown hairs, if you use improper technique because multi-blades, right? You're, you're, the more blades, the more friction, the more potential for problems like irritation. So less pressure is better, so less is more. You wanna let the weight of the device guide across your skin or guide you across your skin. You don't wanna dig, you wanna shave. No digging. Look, you're never gonna get a perfect shave. You're never gonna have that perfect porcelain you know, doll face. It's just not gonna happen. So limit your passes, limit your pressure. Use proper technique. And you'll be ahead of the game. That long stubble.
it's tough for a multi-blade. That's why I use typically one blade to just get rid of all that stubble. But I wanted to show you again the trimming capability of one blade. As you can see, I'm dealing with some a patch of stubble down here. That's tough, but we'll leave that for the final pass. Get into the nooks and crannies. Beautiful, look at that. You could also use the precision trimmer on the back to trim your sideburns. Get in under the nose. Perfect, beautiful, luxurious heated razor from Gillette Labs, one of my favorites. So I'll turn that off. I'll rinse off with warm water, put some more lather on, and we'll complete the shave with the single edge twig from Leaf. I'm gonna go back to that green fig on my beautiful brush here. And we'll work it against the face for a really nice Third pass lather, uh, just wonderful smell. Very unique, very soft, and just fresh, but uncommonly scented. That's what I like about a legion. Uncommon, a little offbeat, but well composed and just very, very nice. So let me show you this twig. I'll pull out a prime blade. These blades were given to me by my buddy, Ron Shaverboy516 on Instagram. Give Ron some love if you're over on Instagram. He is a consummate shaving enthusiast. Now, what we like about these blades, the Dorco blades, the primes, is they're not gunked up. So they're actually wrapped in another sort of covering, covering wrap inside the blade. Some blades come with a little residue on it and you have to, you know, you have to use hot water to get it off. It's just a pain in the ass, but these are really nice. So I only need half of this blade. So what I'm gonna do is, while it's in the packaging, see that? I'm gonna snap it in half and I'll pull out half of a, a DE. come over to the twig and I'll open up that head. And what's cool about this is that head slides out of the way. There are two magnets here. So when you are working to put the blade in its spot, you don't have the fear of losing the blade and it fits nicely around two teeth, like these two little cleats, if you will. So it's perfectly aligned, single blade action. I'm gonna use a cross grain approach. Ah. Uh, just, very smooth, perfect angle, guys. Great for economy, these double-edged blades, especially if you're only using one side, kind of doubles up. Or gives you double for the money. Ah, that's nice. If I had only one of these to go with, I probably would go with a twig because it can do 
so many things. It's so versatile, sharp enough, precise enough. I mean, if you look at the, the size of that head, you can get into the nooks and crannies. You can tackle that tr tough stubble. You've got the economy of the use of double-edged blades you can buy in bulk. Oh yeah, just nice. Just a comfortable razor. And again, on the mild side. So the cross grain pass is where you're, you um, attend to the nooks and crannies and under your nose. I have a large nose, so I got a lot to attend to. And that's nice, guys. That is nice. I'm going to do one final pass with the twig. What I'll go back to is some warm water on the face. Beautiful Elysian lather. Green fig. And I'm going to do the final BBS approach. I like to call it the get right pass. This is a, an against grain pass and twig provides the mildness that you want for against grain. Against grain is like the, can be the toughest pass, especially if you get irritation or you struggle with irritation in grown hairs. You never want to push or dig again. You just you want to glance across the skin, address any hairs that might be out of step that you may have missed. And uh, this is just that, like a, a high or a fine grit sandpaper at the end of a job. It gives it that gloss, that shine, that finish. Again, not trying to do too much. Letting the weight of the device do the work. And also letting the contours of your face dictate. Where that blade goes, you don't want to project or you don't want to, you don't want to push to, you know, you've got a, a, a jawline here. So you don't want to go straight, right? You want to let the, just let the face dictate. where you're going. Ah, beautiful. Beautiful shave. Very, very nice, guys. Getting there. And... All right, now I'll use some cool water that'll help close the pores and get me ready for the aftershave splash. And then we'll put a bow on this puppy. Let's do it. Cool water. I like to use a face cloth. Pat the skin. Make sure you get all the soap out of the spaces. Oh, that's real nice. Oh, very nice, guys. Beautiful. Beautiful. 
Beautiful shave. Calm, relaxing. All these products. Calm, relaxing, luxurious products. All right, last thing I do is I check to make sure I didn't miss a couple of hairs, stray hairs. Because when you're dealing with razors, I mean, they're sharp, let's face it. That's why I love one blade. So this is my sort of starting and final piece because I can take this and I can get it. Up in the nooks and crannies. Right around my lips. I can trim up here. Just a great device for that. There's a stray hair over here. I could attend to that if I wanted to. Just trim that out of the way. It's just beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. So that's the final piece of the shaving puzzle. And then the final piece of the shave in general is Elysian's Green Fig Artisan Aftershave and Splash. And again, this is just, ah, oh, wonderful. Smell of green fig, oh, and less green. There's a sweetness to this aftershave. It's like, like the dessert on your plate. That last dessert is always sweet. So, ah, oh, just, a hauntingly wonderful smell. I hope you've enjoyed the three different phases, the three different types of shaving devices. Uh, if you have, please don't hesitate, leave a comment below or leave a suggestion for a product you might want me to review and I'll certainly take a look at that. And again, if you're new to the channel or if you're old to the channel but you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? subscribe <laughs> and I'll see you guys next time. But in the meantime, you know what to do. Keep pushing play. Now roll the music.